Hello everyone. It's another video from Dark Ops Survival. Today we're going to be going over the Maxpedition Sabercat. The Sabercat they've done, there's been a lot of videos on YouTube and uh, I want to thank Roz, Gwen, a few other people that I watch all your videos and have become uh, really big fans of the Maxpedition product and wanted to add a few other things today for uh, fellow police officers, SWAT operators, um, people that have concealed carry permits that uh, you can take the Sabercat and if you don't want to use it as a waste pack it can be your everyday carry in regards to all your firearms, ammunition, handcuffs, you name it. So I loaded this thing up and wanted to show you some of the possibilities that you could uh, use it for in regards to law enforcement or uh, someone that wants to know where all their gear is, firearms, etc., in one spot. That way they don't have to worry about any safety issues with, with children or anything like that. They can bring it in their house, store it away, have it in their car, put it in their trunk until they get to their final destination. Uh, it's great also if you're a SWAT operator and as you're gearing up, you don't have to be fumbling around looking for tasers, firearms, things like that. So it's just a, an idea of uh, how to set it up. Obviously everyone is different. You have different types of firearms and things like that, but we'll go over some of the stuff and uh, maybe it can be helpful. A little plug from Expedition, one of their latest catalogs. Once you get one, uh, you'll, uh, you'll want to buy more. They make fan fantastic stuff and uh, I, cannot, I cannot say enough about their quality. One thing that I've learned to do with the, the bags is I try to recenter all my pull tabs. So that way I'm not fumbling around looking for where are the tabs to unzip them. It's better just to get in the habit of you have them in one spot so you know when you need to get to something you can pull on it. Again, this has been covered. This is a great, great, great waist pack. It can be pulled out, uh, adjusted to your waist. You can carry it in the back. Uh, I've seen that if you don't have it loaded down too bad, you can actually carry it in the front or swivel it around to the front. So overall, it's a fantastic bag. I bought a set of suspenders for it too, and uh, we're, I'm trying those out. So we'll go over some of the stuff that I have in the bag. Start out with, you pop the two clips in the front. Again, zipper centered. Bring this out. From here, I can set up a small flashlight, your multi-tool, another light, and your edge weapons. In here I've gone with, I don't know where you're working, whether you need one or not, but I always keep a compass with me. The Maxpedition uh, right in the rain pad and one of their tactical pens. I've already done a little short video on the pad and pen and they are really really nice and hold up well in the most inclement weather conditions. In the front here what I've done and Maxpedition may want to look into putting a velcro sleeve on the inside of this so you could put uh, an adjustable holster but I keep my Beretta in here. It is loose in here but once you zip this up it's tight, it's not going to go anywhere, you keep the gun on safe and uh, you're good to go in regards to this. Holds a nice uh, large size automatic. I put one of the uh, key rings on here so that way if you had a call out or at work or whatever your house keys, civilian type keys, you can put here so that way you know where you're at. Um, I know a couple of guys that have had keys on call outs, things like that. They put them on the top of their squads, they drop them in their trunk, and then for an hour after uh, an operation, they're, they're still looking for their gear. And uh, they're still looking for their keys and can't find them. The one side here, I was able to squeeze in one bottle of water. It's away from all your weapons and things like that. It does have the drainage hole in the bottom, so if for some reason this would get bumped and crack open, uh, it's still just going to run out and it's not going to get to your weapons. The other side, keep the extra magazines. Still trying to figure out a way to uh, store them a little bit better in here. They're loose, 
and you could get the, to them in a quick situation but this bag I'm looking at it more of a storage type uh, bag that it's not going to be quick that you have to get to something immediately obviously you can get to a firearm if you needed to going into the main section it holds a lot of gear in here I have placed my off-duty gun flashlight my little ankle holster a couple sets of handcuffs you can also put some protein bars in here you don't want to get hungry and you don't want to get thirsty on the other side what I did was the velcro sleeve you can also set the taser in here so again everything is in its place it's relatively secure and wherever you're at and whatever you need to get to it's all in one spot and you're good to go this is a fantastic bag uh, may want to make a few little adjustments on it but I can't think of many it's tough it's durable At the end of the day here you go you're ready to go you can adjust the sling, put it on your shoulder, and you know where all your firearms are, handcuffs, anything that you need uh, for everyday carry in regards to law enforcement or uh, tactical officers. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.